Virgos, welcoming guys. Thank you ever so much for joining me once again for another tarot reading with myself, Joe. Virgos, we shall not waste no time, guys. Let's get right into your interesting reading. Your first card is the King of Pentacles. Then we've got the Queen of Pentacles. We also have the Devil, the Knight of Cups, the Hermit and the Star card. Virgos, have you met your one? Perhaps this is uh, representing, well, it, it's looking very much so, the King and Queen of Pentacles. That's a clear pair here. That's two counterparts. Uh, feminine, masculine energy. As I said, have you met your person, yin and yang? It's, for some of you, you may be in a active connection at the moment, or perhaps this is just the beginning phases and I say that because the devil the devil is it's kind of like the addictive phase you know the honeymoon period where you feel like you know you're just totally glued to your person you feel I don't know you feel addicted to them then it's it's that kind of sense perhaps there's even some codependency building that could be a worry for you feeling as though you can't do certain things or you can't crack on with your day without this person a very strong pull a very strong bond there um, and for those of you that aren't connecting or perhaps you are even as i said it's early stages this is about to level up here i feel like on your side virgos there's some worry this could even be an offer of commitment this could be a proposal for uh, engagement even whatever this offer is it, it causes some worry for you and I, I feel a lot of worry here with the devil energy it's, like, it's almost as if you feel codependent uh in this situation at the same time feeling very addicted to your person it's like you're needing time off again this is representing virgo energy so i'm going to say for you that when when this offer comes it's like you reflect back on this negative kind of thought play um i'm not sure how to even respond to this scared even worried nervous anxiety Perhaps not even been in such, had a strong strong connection as such for some time or ever, possibly. So this is a bit nerve-wracking for some of you, yeah? Then we've got the star card. This can very well represent healing energy. Perhaps you are even still healing, Virgos. And that's not a bad thing. I feel like this person could be good for you, but let me not say too much. Let's see what Tarot says about that. Tell me about Virgos' person. So we've got, oh, lovely, two of cups. We've got lovely uh, mutual energy there. We've got the nine of cups and we've also got the four. So as I said, this person is ready to take um, the next step with you, ready to take a leap of faith with you. They're, they're ready to let go. They're ready to give and receive love even. This is a definite, what you're feeling, they're pro probably feeling two it's mutual emotions you both share the same amount of love and respect for one another definitely a good connection this is something that you know you guys would have wished for and i feel like this is going to progress to something really really good if you allow it to just release those thoughts yeah it's negative nostalgia the past past playing tricks on your mind you're not there now your hair virgos try and focus on what's happening now this is looking really good as i said your person is that they, they want to give you what you want yeah they want to fulfill your wishes and your dreams they want to take this you know long term with you even let's uh see what your energy is at now that goes interesting yeah let's love it it's a death card transformation absolutely a change needing to take place lots of things that you are needing to let go there guys got the high priestess in reverse yeah your energy is a bit at this time we've also got the chariot we've also got the nine of swords as i said that anxiety that kind of negative nostalgia perhaps even in in the night finding finding it difficult to sleep something happening during the night here with you virgos we've also got the six of cups and the two two of four wands so a clear choice is that I feel like you're indecisive at the moment, okay? The high priestess in the first, you're not trusting the process, right? You're not trusting and, and allowing what's supposed to happen, happen. Think about what you've asked for, what words you've used, what you've, what you've spoke into the universe. This is just a return of that, okay? 
it's something that you deserve but a change something's going to change and more than likely this needs to happen for you the death card being a transformation perhaps something needing to end completely even for you to see the, the realness of what's happening for you now not what's happened what's happening um the high priestess in reverse as i said not trusting i feel like there's something that you're not trusting here and although the chariot is like a forward thinker you know um kind of goes with it it's like you're going with the flow even though you're not trusting it that needs to be shaken off there's something to do with the past here and i feel like very much you are hanging on to the past that needs to change that's that negative nostalgia that's not allowing you, you to you know be open as much as you could be of course definitely a choice is needed to be made from from you virgos that is definitely needing to make a clear choice here there's something you're still hanging on to let's read on let's see uh, the outcome in this situation what's the outcome for virgos please so we have the six of oh well, sorry we have the eight of cups six of pentacles oh okay we've also got the empress eight of wands ten of swords <clears throat> And the Ace of Pentacles, clearly something you are needing to walk away from. It's not fair, okay? I feel like there's there's an imbalance or something. Perhaps you still need even clarity from the past or something that's happened in the past that's not allowing you to open up in, its, in your fullness even. Definitely. Um, I've done my chariot. You've got the Empress. We've got the Empress, yep, yeah, the Eight of Wands. So someone needs to take control here. Take responsibility for the past. Accept what's happened in the past, okay? The Empress is quite a high... This is all four queens in one, yeah? And if we look at it like that, then the Empress can often be pictured as being pregnant here. So it could have something to do with uh, pregnancy, in, in your outcome or perhaps this is just you know show me the re the rebirth that's needing to happen the death card there this is the rebirth you need to become um i don't i feel like saying become the dragon as it says in one of the oracle cards here but more so become a leader yeah you've got to own your ish and and accept what is not accept what has been and it's like now what is it's about what's happening now virgos yeah. communication more than likely you are needing to communicate where you're at now how you are feeling so you know so your person also knows because you may not want to rush into things something perhaps you need to cut something off from the past perhaps it's still in motion here but with the ten of swords that's feeling backstabbed feeling betrayed as i said there's something you're not trusting here with the high priestess being in reverse something you are not trusting and it's more than likely the thoughts that are stemming from the past yeah that negative loop that you're possibly in mentally ace of pentacles brand new offer new beginning and i think once this has done one once you kind of accept where you are now and close out let go of the past you know moving forward this offer is still here for you regardless of what's happening or going to be happening the offer is still going to be there for you clear as day it's yours for the taking you've just got to you know take the right steps do the right thing let's see what the oracle has to say for you Virgos. what's the advice for Virgos today please we've got, we've got red light passion and purpose your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart. Say no more. <laughs> I don't even need to add my two pence, okay? Let's get you one more, Virgos. Ah. There we go. One more for Virgos, please. There we are. Oh. Clear as day. A time to say goodbye. Something is about to end for now, but don't panic. Sometimes um, 
you need to take a break or step away from some somebody, some situations, a situation to kind of recognise, you know, what it is, how good it is for us or how positive it may be for us. But it says uh, something's about to end for now. So it's not over completely. It's just a pause. Yeah, a pause and a refresh. Virgos, that has been your reading. Again, thank you for tuning in. Please, as always, take what resonates, leave whatever doesn't, and don't force anything to fit with your situation, guys. My readings do not replace any medical or professional advice you may have received, so please do bear that in mind. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, guys, and take care. Until next time. <laughs>